doing? Uh, do you know, do, what do you recommend for any other lakes over here? Uh, lake for we hear really good things about. The reason I would go there. Okay, sounds good. Good luck. Thank you. It's nice people. Welcome back guys, brand new video. I'm out here, you already know, we're here fishing, I'm here. This time I got my brother back here, he's chilling. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So we're out here. So uh, I'm at the same fish management from the previous videos. So like I said, this fish management has a lot of lakes that you could fish at and explore. And so we decided to come out to a random lake at this fish management. Uh, we heard good things about this lake, so hopefully we're able to catch a few fish. Uh, this guy just came out the water. He said it was kind of slow this morning. Uh, he only caught about, I think, seven. Usually he said he usually catches about 20, 20 um, bass throughout the day, but he said he only caught seven. But he said this lake's a good lake. It's a good lake for producing. It's also a good lake for chase, um, bait that, uh, for bass that are chasing bait. And so uh, he gave us some tips throughout the day, so hopefully we're able to catch a few fish. So I got the boat set up right now. We just got here. It's currently 1137. It's an early start than last weekend, so I decided to come out here. This time we did actually get a cold front. It's currently 64 degrees, so it, we did actually get a cold front this uh, this morning. So this morning I think it was the low 50s, and so hopefully the bass didn't get spooked, scared, and so hopefully we're able to catch a few fish. And so. I already got the boat set up. I'm going to check out the water and see how the water looks. Hopefully the water looks decent. Um, it's pretty windy too. So it, today it was like 50 miles, 50 miles per hour wind. So hopefully that doesn't affect us. Hopefully we don't move a lot. And uh, luckily I'm going to keep on fishing with the moving base. Try that out. It's fall season. And so hopefully the, the bass are chasing the bait. And hopefully we're able to catch a few ones. And so I'm also doing some flipping because he gave us some tips that... Um, if you're not catching any with any moving baits, try flipping or try uh, any uh, bait hitting the uh, the branches. He gave us some tips, and so we're gonna try that out and see how that goes. But let's check out the water and see how it looks. All right, guys. So we just made it to water. We're right here, chilling, right, Frank? Chilling, chilling. Yes. Sir. Or, no, it's pretty windy. But the thing is, luckily, we're around a lot of structure, and so it's a good thing. So it's not as windy compared to an open lake. And so, as you see, there's a lot of good structure around. A lot of branches. There's a lot of little small canals through this lake, and so it's a good area, juicy area to fish. So hopefully we're able to catch a few ones. The water's really dark. Like I said, it's really red when I was at the boat ramp. And so I'm going to use some white. I'm going to use the same chatter bait, the white chatter bait. Use some shine to it. Hopefully that attracts the fish. And also I'm going to do some flipping because it looks really juicy. The branches look juicy. So I'm going to flip inside the branches to see how that goes. And so like this lake, I believe it was like 200 something acres, right Frank? So it's around 200 something uh, acres, so it's a pretty big lake. And so we're probably not going to explore the whole lake because it's going to take mostly the whole day if we do that. But um, we're going to fish some areas, some juicy areas, and hopefully we're able to catch a few ones with that. And um, like I said, 228? <laughs> yeah. 228 acres in this lake. And so there's about six boats in this lake. And so a lot of, not a lot of people, but it's a huge lake, but it's decent amount of people at this uh, lake. And so that means it's a good lake. So hopefully we're able to catch a few ones. Hopefully, you know, we're able to catch a giant, catch a few. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm just fishing random lakes around Polk County, Florida. And so trying to show y'all guys my adventures. If I don't catch anything, I'm still gonna record, still gonna upload, show y'all the adventures throughout the day, what I experienced throughout the lake. And so, you know, if you have anything in the comments, anything you wanna ask, any question, anything, you, you could put it in the comments. And I really appreciate you guys uh, subscribing. I gained about like 10 new subscribers this week. And so it's a great, amazing week for me. So I really appreciate y'all guys for subscribing to the channel. And you know,
know, leave a like too as well. I really appreciate it. But you know, I'm gonna get start start getting fishing, start putting the GoPro ready, and you know, I already see fish like moving in the water. So hopefully that's a good sign. And so quick, uh, less talking, and let's get started fishing. when it's windy it's pointless Got one, got one, got one, got one guys, hell yeah. Don't lose them, don't lose them. Hell yeah guys. It's a nice one, move that pool. I'm gonna both flip, hell yeah. Sheesh. Barely hook, barely hook. Barely hooked, say like one and a half, almost two pounds. Nice little dark bass right here. Hell yeah, guys. Sheesh. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Nice one right here. All right, homie, I'll let you go. Any luck? Slow, right? Any luck? One? What time? Just the bass. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> that was the first one. That was the first oh, yeah. one? Yeah. I hope they start biting. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the first fish of the day. So the bait I was using was this right here, this buzz bait, same bait I was using from the previous video. So I was doing it at the edges. What I'm doing is basically doing it in the area where there's not a lot of wind. And so it's really calm top water look. And so that's what I've been doing. And so I caught the first one with this one. Um, I did a quick release just cause there was people around me. And so, you know, I'm still like camera shy around people. But, um, but yeah, first one of the day with this buzz bait right here. So, you know, we're gonna keep on fishing. Hopefully we catch more. I'm gonna continue throwing this buzz bait at areas where there's not a lot of wind and so i think that's a good area good choice to do and then uh hopefully we're able to catch a giant one i believe that one was like i say two right frank yeah, she, was, she, was fat. she was like a two two pounder it wasn't too big it wasn't too fat but i feel i feel like it was a two um yeah, she was, she was barely around two pounds and so it was a good decent size it was long the fish was long mm -hmm. but you know it was a nice decent fish so we're gonna hopefully catch a few, a few more with this i'm gonna continue casting this and see what happens there's a splash that moved over there. Holy Tilapia. Yeah, it's going this side. I got some corn. Watch out. Corn. Watch out. Hold on, hold on. Right there. Where? Right there. Right there. He swam away? He's still there? Oh, he swam away? Yeah. There's a tilapia, right? Huge. Well, where at? What? I'm gonna throw a little pad. Got one. Got one, guys. Hell yeah, guys. Cheesh. Second fish of the day, guys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Second fish right here. Flipped it right here in the lily pads. 
Sorry guys, I'm eating sunflowers, but my little brother was like flipper right here. I seen the fish. Flipped it right there in the lily pads. Alright, homie. I'm gonna let you go. Thank you. Thank you for not letting me get skunked today, but hell yeah. It's only It's currently 231 right now. So we fished for about we got here around 12, no? Yeah, we got here around 12. So we got here around 12. And so fished about almost three hours and so it's not bad. Temperature right now it's low 70s. The water's the water's a little bit colder, so it's first cold front in Florida, so you know. Alright homie, I'm gonna let you go. Have a great day. There he goes. Alright guys, so was using this bait as well. So like I said in the beginning of the video, the there's a guy telling us that the flipping bite was decent. And so he said flipped it flip it and so I did some flipping right here did it right there I used the zoom mag 2 uh, June June bug color flipped it right there right here one and a half ounce pegged wait so I'm gonna continue flipping and see how it goes Oh, I got another one, guys. Another one. Another one, guys. Hell yeah. Little, little tiny one. Hell yeah. Woo. Yes, sir. Bass number three. Bass number three. Hell yeah, homie. Hey, right, calm down. Bass number three, guys. Hell yeah. Cast it right here. Right here in the branches right now. They're little small ones right now. One pounder, skinny ones. But cast it right here in between these branches. Felt the bite. Did the hook set. So got number three. Nice decent Florida bass right here guys. Hell yeah, we gotta continue on fishing. Bass number three. My brother has to catch a one at least for the day so he doesn't get skunked. But this is number three for me. So you know, that advice that the guy gave us, it was a great advice. I was trying moving baits. The only lucky one I had was that buzz bait. But I was trying any moving baits, no luck, chatter baits, no luck. And I started flipping right now. The temperature is a little, it's getting warmer. So the fish are like eating right now. But yeah guys. Bass number tres. Nice, decent size. Hell yeah, guys. Flipping during fall season right now. Hell yeah. All right, homie. I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Third fish of the day. It's a little skinny one. But you know, something, something. All right, homie. I'll let you go now. There he goes. Hell yeah, guys. It's currently 248. So we got to keep on fishing. All right, guys, a little quick update. So I caught a total of three bass already. So one was on the buzz bait, two were on the flipping setup. And so the bite slowed down for me. I'm gonna keep on trolling down these uh, these structures, keep on flipping, keep using the buzz bait. I had two strikes on the buzz bait recently right now, but I didn't, wasn't able to hook them. And so I missed those, but it's, it's a great day. You know, it's a great day to be outdoors. So it's feeling good temperature wise. It's 72 degrees right now, so it's feeling good. It's on a Sunday morning. And so last night we had our big like cold, cold front for Florida so it's I think it was the low 50s and so you know it's cold for Florida people but you know it's a, doing a great day uh, my brother wasn't able to catch any yet so he's skunked right now and so it's going a good day for me I'm gonna catch I want to catch one more and uh, probably call it for a day it's currently it's about to be four I believe yeah it's almost 3 30 so I'm gonna try to call it a day at 4 30 or 5 at least catch one more a nice decent size but yeah it's a little quick update so beautiful day beautiful day this is what I was looking for look at this Jeez. look at this amazing it's pretty dope right uh, all yeah. oh, that structure little leap pads yeah my GoPro right now look at all that structure lily pads vegetation it's really calm out here gonna start flipping buzz bait action 
see how that goes. Here. This is going to be the last spot I'm going to fish. I'm going to troll down all these areas right here. Start flipping with old, I think the Mag 2 Zoom. Half ounce. Weighted. Pegged. And so I'm going to fish all this area. Go all the way down. And that's the last, last spot I'm going to do before I go. I had one bite over there, but wasn't able to hook it. He just nibbled. I'm going to continue on flipping and see how it goes. All right, guys, so a little quick update. So in total today, we only caught three. And so it wasn't bad. We caught one doing a buzz bait, two of them flipping. And so, like I said, when we came in in the morning, the guy was telling us that he had some luck. He, he was able to catch about seven, and he said through flipping the branches. And so... Usually he catches around like, uh, I think he told me 18, 20. But uh, he said, this cold front got these fishes, you know, Spooked. spooked and you know hiding away trying to go in deeper water trying to get warmed up so uh, luckily he told us that uh, flipping through branches flipping new structure he was able to catch them so we we took his word we tried it we got some but not not you know not a lot but uh, we had a good day the weather wasn't too bad. It was, you know, the sun was, you know, beaming towards the, you know, middle of the day. But right now it's getting a little colder. And um, like he says, call it a day. Yeah. So we're fishing for about five hours. It wasn't bad. Great day. Great day. And so it's getting a little colder, like my brother said. Uh, Temperature-wise, it's probably the high 60s right now. And so we're gonna head to the boat ramp, get the uh, clean up the boat and everything so hopefully you enjoy the video hopefully you enjoy the content I'm throwing on the channel and like I said I like the support from the subscribes and the likes and the comments from the previous video so you know if you are new to the channel subscribe to the channel but yeah I'm gonna call it a day hopefully next weekend we're able to fish at a different lake or continue fishing at this lake don't know so who knows we probably go to a different one or f continue fishing this one and explore this one because like I said this one is was around like 270 acres and, and we, so and we, we we probably explored like less than half so like i say less than a quarter yeah so we didn't even explore the full lake so it was 270 acres and so we didn't even full explore the full lake and so next time probably next weekend we're probably going to continue fishing this lake and explore it more and continue to see if we're able to catch any giants but you know it was a good day good day and so i'm gonna call it a day head out to the boat ramp and i'll see you in the boat ramp All right, guys, so my little brother wants to back up the truck and see how it goes. It's going to be his first time. And so I'm going to load up the boat to the trailer. And so hopefully let's see how it turns out. <laughs> it's going to be his first time, so I'm, I'm going to make fun of him and see how it goes. Because, like, he never backed up a trailer before, so let's see if he has the skills. For me, my first time, I was terrible at it. So it, it was, I was terrible. I was terrible. I was so nervous backing up to to a boat ramp when there's a lot of, cra a lot of people in the boat ramp. So... Let's see how his first time goes, and so hopefully he doesn't do terrible, but I'm going to make fun of him if he does. And there he goes. Let's see how he does it. Let's see. Let's see. He's pulling up. He's pulling up. All right. All right. Let's see if he got the skills. Let's see if he got the skills. Ramps a little. It's not difficult. It's not the same compared. It's not e as easy compared to other boat ramps, so hopefully let's see if he's able to do it. Oh, man. Oh, man. I think I'm going to have to do it. Told you guys my little brother couldn't back up the trailer, but you know, I'll give him another try next time. I'll give him another try next time. Come on, Frank. What happened? Hey, man. What happened? I tried. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I gotta say. I tried. But next time I let him do it so he could get some practice. So I could be the one pulling the boat in the trailer and he's the one backing up and help me out, helping me out. But yeah, um, I already got the boat on the trailer. And so that's going to be it for today's video. You know, I preach, I appreciate you guys watching my videos from the previous, uh, previous days, previous weeks. 
appreciate the likes, appreciate the comments, you know, appreciate the subscribing as well. So if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe to the channel. We had a great day at the water. It was a good chilly day. The first cold, actual cold front in Florida. And so it was a great, amazing day. Um, this cold front spooked the bass a little bit. So everybody that were coming off the boat ramp didn't have any luck. And so luckily we had some luck and caught three. I'm fine with that. So that's pretty much it for today's video. You know, I really appreciate you guys, but that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoy the video. Hope you like the video and leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Peace. Comment, comment section is open. Let us know. You know, we're, we're not professionals, but we're out here trying.